911, where is your emergency? It was a call to the Harnett County Sheriff's Office in North Carolina that started this shocking case. A concerned parent noticed suspicious messages between her daughter and this man, Bailey Joe Mills. Detective Brad Bird hit the Mills house that same day. The house was cluttered, filthy. There was clothing and food items all over the place, children's toys, computer equipment. It was not a well-kept home. The suspicions were well-founded. Mills and his wife, Elizabeth, were using this dump to take care of neighborhood kids, or so they claimed. The truth would shock this entire community. Elizabeth told me that she was a prostitute, and that's how she made her living. They had a separate building to entertain the clients. She would have clients come to the house while um, Bailey was in the house with these children. But if you can believe it, the worst was not happening in the shed. It was happening inside the house. Bailey Mills was a two-time registered sex offender. He came off the sex offender registry in 2011. In North Carolina, after you've been on the sex offender registry for 10 years, you can petition the state and come off. Local parents had trusted their kids to a child predator. Have those computers right there. Everywhere Detective Bird and Agent Covington looked, they found images of child sexual abuse on discs, on computers, on cell phones, everywhere. The more cops dug, the more they realized this couple had combined their endeavors. Some of the people that she would call to her house to have sex with for her prostitution job actually ended up getting involved with the children and what Bailey was involved in. And then eventually Bailey was taking money for these people to have sex with the children. And then Agent Covington, a new mother, even cut short her maternity leave to help identify 11 victimized children. All this hard work got these two suspects and three more off the streets. 